Welcome back to my little channel. Now today I'm going to talk about something I found really, really interesting. Um, I already made a video not too long ago talking about how I felt that politicians are to be held responsible for the mess we are in when it comes to the Western world. Now I made this video some time ago, I uploaded it, uh, well basically later. And in between the time of me making the video and me uploading it, Rashida Tlaib had something to say about her situation in America during a hearing. And I'm going to I'm going to play it out for you and I'm going to obviously respond. But before I do that, I'd like to point out criticism as always is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined but mostly reply. I'm really interested in hearing what you think. Is she wrong? Am I wrong? And why? So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, go and look what she has to say, shall we? We are all rightfully concerned about communities like mine uh, that are at serious risk of being undercounted in 2020 census. But something I'm particularly concerned about is the lack of representation on the forum of people who look like me. Okay, so we have a representative in the house who feels she's not being represented. <laughs> let, let, let that sink in for a moment. I mean, how many brain cells did just die? Starting in 2015, a research effort spanned years under the previous administration led by the Office of Management and Budget, uh, by community organizations like Access and the Arab American Institute and many others, which pushed to add the new category to the 2020 survey called Middle Eastern North African, or what we call MENA. In 2015, Director, the category went into the field for testing, and based on the findings, the Census Bureau recommended the inclusion of MENA category in the 2020 Census. Despite these findings, however, the Census Bureau announced under the current administration that MENA category would not be included in the census. So you want to be known as Middle Eastern North African um, because all Middle Eastern North Africans are the same. I mean, yeah, honestly, a Turk and a, and a Moroccan are, are quite the same. A Syrian and an Afghan, mm -hmm, yeah, they're all the same. Or is this once again a drive to push the idea of identity politics and victimhood into the whole narrative. Because let's be honest, um, I don't want to be rude, but why does it matter? But let's continue on what you have to say, shall we? Dr. Dillingham, do, do I look white to you? I'm not Dr. Dillingham, but I'm going to answer. Yes, you do. Congresswoman, I, I think that uh um, if you tell me what you identify with, and I, I think I would respect that. Sure. Oh, 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 see, this is how toxic our politics have become. Um, do I look like this or that to you? Well, 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 well um, you know what? You can call yourself an attack helicopter, and I will gladly support you on that. No, dude, why can't you say, well... Even if you don't want to directly answer it, I mean, if you were to uh, um, ask her back, so, okay, can you define to me what white means, or then she'll going to say, well, you know what white means, because you put it on your form, so would I have to put white on your form? Then I would say, well, you can. And, and, but the whole idea that he can't even answer directly, he has to answer like, well, no, if, if you say this is what you are, then... Yeah, yeah. But... Don't you worry, she won't let him finish. So, Dr. Uh, Director, are you aware that people like me who are Arab, Middle Eastern, North African have to indicate that they're white on the U.S. Census? Because that's a problem. How dare you make me call myself white? Wait, wait a second, weren't white people the ones that were privileged? So wouldn't you want to be part of the privileged group? But I guess what you're actually showing here, Ms. Tlaib, is that white people aren't privileged. 
It's almost like a derogatory term to be called white, according to Mr. Talib. Um, this is something that is happening in the Western world, though, because the, the anti-white narrative has been gone so far. But now we have someone in the House of Representatives of a predominantly white country basically saying, yeah, no, 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 that, that, I don't, you don't, you don't call me white. How dare you? I'm not white. I'm better than that. Um, Congresswoman, we actually have on the, uh, and, and, and I, I understand, uh, you know, that there was a process in, 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 in deciding, um, before, certainly before I got to. See, the thing is, he keeps stuttering a lot. He's not saying anything. He's just, I'm sorry, Mr. Dillingham, you're not, you're not out of the blue either. I mean, yeah, she's bad, but my God, what the hell are you doing? The census, and there's a history to coming up with the questions and, and, and the race and the ethnicity categories. Um, and that uh, OMB... No, they ignored uh, it. But, but, Director, but, before you... But yeah. they ignored it. The previous administration decided to put me on the form. They ignored it. So the previous administration is the Obama administration, which is the administration that brought back racial segregation um, in America, something that was getting a lot less, even though there had been issues in the past. I mean, there's always going to be racial segregation. But the difference is that under Obama, it wasn't the white people trying to segregate the black people. It was everyone trying to segregate the white people, even though the white people are still the majority in their country. Can you imagine what will happen when the white people will actually be the minority in their country? But again, this is not a white versus black thing. This is an identitarian versus reality thing. And and it, it scares me. I mean, look look at how she's talking to this guy. I mean, she's asking questions. She won't let him answer. True that he's not easily answering. I mean, he's stumbling a lot. But she won't let him formulate an answer. But do you think I, if I circled white category, that would be an accurate, accurate depiction of my racial and ethnic background? Yes, it would. Uh, Congresswoman, we do not second guess what you put on, what you put down okay. there. Okay. And, well, and, and we do have a write-in. We do have a write-in. Director, People can write. you're not giving me an option because let me tell you, there's, there's... Wait a second. He's not giving you an option, even though he said there is a write-in. So you can write down whatever you want. And that's not an option? Are you now telling us, Mr. Talib, that you can't write? Because that seems problematic for a representative in the House, don't you think? There's a reason why the recommendation happened. Because would circling white on the census change my lived experience as a person of color in our country? Oh my God, lived experience. Here we go again. You know what? I'm going to finish with um, Ms. Talib. I mean, she's going to continue on and on and on. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dillingham, or maybe I would mispronounce it, or simply wrong that is possible too is uh, again trying everything he can to not really answer her in a negative way but seriously now the video is uh, five minutes long so I'm not going to do it all because I have a hard time listening to the parts we've already heard here we have a house representative claiming she's not being represented and she hates to be identified as white, even though, well, you can all see her. Um, and that's problematic. And the whole idea that she doesn't have to identify as white is something that kind of got pushed by the Obama administration. The one that basically brought race relations to a negative boiling point once again in the United States. And they keep pushing this option they they keep pushing the idea that it's a good thing to diversify more and more and more to a point where you're no longer talking about diversification but you're talking about segregation and 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 they're all in favor of it well not all i mean obviously we only see miss talib talking here but she's a representative do you think a lot of people would agree with her on this and why? I mean, 
aren't you American? Yeah, but I'm also uh, Middle Eastern, uh, Northern African. No, no, that's your background. Are you American, yes or no? See, that's the one thing that, that these people seem to constantly misrepresent. Because every person that went to America, especially at the turning of the 20th century, eh, the Italians, the Polacks, whatever, when they went to America, they had a lot of problems. But they didn't have a government placate to them. So if they wanted to succeed, they had to work. They had to achieve. Now, it seems to be demanded of the government to placate to them because the last governments have placated to them. Oh, no, yeah, victim status. Oh, look at you, poor you. Oh, it's not going to work. You're damaging yourself. You're damaging the very people you claim to be talking for. But you're also damaging the country. You're also damaging social cohesion. And to me, it's... Well, it's unforgivable, sorry. You can disagree with one another. But to say, I do not want to be like you, even though I want to live in your country, even though I'm a representative of your government, I am not like you, and you have to recognize that I'm not like you. And you're not, not like me as an individual. No, no, as me as a social group. But shouldn't be the social group American? So whether you're white or black. I mean, genetically speaking, you will have the same uh, medical needs as the Europeans. Whereas the Africans will have slightly different medical needs. Not that one is better than the other. It's purely biological. It doesn't mean a thing. But it is nice to keep that in mind. Because let's be honest, sickle cell anemia, just to name one, is far more likely in one group than in the other. So it's not per se a negative thing to recognize there's a group difference. But why do we need to make the groups ever smaller? And why do we need to placate to ever smaller groups? But... I have to say this again. Thank you, Mr. Talib, for proving that white people are indeed not the one being privileged. They're the ones being discriminated against. And you feel so offended by being called white. How can it be a good thing to be called white if you're being so offended by it? Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I hope to see you all next time.